Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're going to discuss the FAG Super TAC 2 Taconite Seal, and helping us out is Jim Azalina. He's from Scheffler, and uh, you guys are the leading bearing manufacturers, and you guys do the FAG, the ENA, and also the Barton products as well, don't you? That's right, Tom. Well, welcome to the program. We're glad you're here. What are we going to see today, buddy? Today we're going to demonstrate how to install the FAG Super TAC 2 Taconite Seal. Before we start with the installation, it's important to understand why this is such a critical product. In many different industrial environments, bearings and the housings as a whole of them are constantly subjected to all types of contamination, whether they be liquids, solids, or other contaminants. When these foreign substances penetrate the housings, they can cause premature failures that lead to all kinds of added costs and problems especially unplanned machine downtime. And everybody hates that, right? That's right. Yeah, downtime is not a good thing. As a matter of fact, contamination is one of the leading causes of bearing failure in many applications. To solve this problem, Shuffler is pleased to offer the FAG Super TAC 2 Taconite Seal. All right, well, it sounds like another great problem solver from you guys, Jim. You're absolutely right about that, Tom. All right, now, before we get started with the actual demonstration, time to put on some PPE. You've got your glasses on. I'm going to yep. put my PPE, which is personal protective equipment. You want to make sure you always do that. Whatever the job calls for, make sure it's the right PPE so we all stay safe. All right, Jim, now, this FAG Super Tac 2 Taconite Seal, what does that look like? Where, where, what are we talking about Well, I here? just happen to have one right here. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing how you do that. <laughs> A good coincidence there. Okay, if you look closely at the Super Tac 2 Seal, mm -hmm. this side fits into the grooves of a standard SAF pillow block housing. Okay. The other side has set screws that are tightened to the rotating shaft. This allows one half of the seal to turn with the shaft, while the other half fits securely into the grooves of the housing. Right, that's pretty cool. That looks nice. Yes, it is. And to better understand how the installation works and how this seal so effectively keeps out contaminants, let's take a closer look. Now, if we separate this, mm -hmm. you will see that there is a groove with what are referred to as fay rings. All right. During installation, you fill up this groove with some of the same type of grease that is used in the bearing. Let's take a look at the diagram to help illustrate this. All right, yeah, I, I can see the groove in the fay ring. All right, well, what's next? Next, we place this half, which is known as the finger, on the bench mm -hmm. with the piston rings facing up and applying even pressure. We then lay the other chamfered end over the piston rings. The assembly will then slide together. Okay, well, that slide together pretty easily, pretty nicely. What's up next? In the event that you have an FAG Super Tac 2 seal for the other side, you simply repeat the same exact process. Okay. The next step is to simply slide the seal assembly onto the shaft and position it into the grooves of the SAF housing. Be sure to leave sufficient play to accommodate the axial running clearance. Okay, got, there's a little bit of play there. So, so you don't want that to pin against there. Okay. Next. The final step is to grease the assembly with the same type of grease as in the bearing, which we earlier put into the groove. Be sure to pump the grease until it begins to purge out around the flinger. All right. You have now sealed off virtually all the contaminants that cause so many costly bearing failures, as you can see in this illustration. All right. And then it fits into the grooves of the housing. Well, the installation looked pretty easy, and obviously, I mean, this is a great solution. I, I think I might be able to do this. Should I? Maybe I could quit my day job. Well, I don't know if i go that far, Tom, but I guess anything's possible. <laughs> All right. Well, Jim, thank you very much for your okay. help today. We'll talk about a little show on the road later. All right. Thanks, All right, Tom. That was Jim Mazzolini with Scheffler uh, talking about the FAG Super Tac 2 Taconite Seal. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, don't forget to contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and hopefully this will help you with your practical application. Wear your PPE. Jim did. I did. Whether it's a demonstration or actually on the job, wear the proper PPE, whatever it calls for. And also look for other Motion Industries how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.